For three days, the old man had been a constant presence at the airport terminal, yet nobody knew what drew him there or what he was waiting for. He sat in the same seat day after day, staring out the window with a look of quiet contemplation. The staff at the airport had noticed him, and as time went on, they grew increasingly curious about his story. Despite their attempts to strike up a conversation, however, the old man remained stoic and silent, leaving them to wonder what secrets he held and what had brought him to the terminal in the first place. As time passed by, the airport staff became increasingly intrigued by the enigmatic old man who seemed to be lost in his own world. They had been closely observing him for several days, but he remained a mystery. Sarah, a young and curious airport staff member, was taken aback to find the old man still sitting on the same bench she'd seen him on before. The old man looked like he'd been sleeping there, but nobody knew why he chose to stay in the airport for so long or what his motive was. Sarah's curiosity was piqued by the presence of the old man, but she felt hesitant to approach him. She decided it would be more prudent to observe the situation and wait for any signs the old man might need assistance or would be leaving soon. Despite this, some of her colleagues were becoming increasingly restless and impatient, urging her to take action. As the staff members gathered, one of them spoke up. It's time, we need answers from him. Some even want him taken out by security. The group had been keeping an eye on the old man who'd been sitting in the airport lounge for hours. He was seemingly waiting for something or someone. However, Sarah, as one of the only senior staff members present, knew that violence wasn't the right approach. She had a hunch that the old man had a very important reason for staying at the airport for so long. So she decided to approach him herself and find out what was going on. Sarah noticed the old man sitting by himself, staring blankly at the airport window. Concerned, she decided to approach him and offer assistance. She sat down next to the old man, politely introduced herself, and asked if everything was all right. The old man looked up at her with a somber expression that indicated something was terribly wrong. Despite the airport staff being unprepared for the old man's emotional story, Sarah could sense that he had a lot on his mind and was in need of help. They brought him food and drinks, but he hardly touched them. They even offered him to find him a hotel, but he refused, saying he couldn't leave the airport. Just when Sarah thought that they might never find out what the old man was doing there, he finally had something to say. On the third day, he finally spoke. He called Sarah over. She sat down beside him, not sure what to expect. The dark truth he finally spilled would change her life forever. Sarah Whitaker's childhood was anything but normal. Her parents were always on the road, leaving her in the care of nannies, friends, and family members. But instead of feeling neglected or lonely, she was fascinated by the stories her parents brought back from their travels. It sparked a passion for seeing new countries and cultures. She would spend hours poring over their photos and souvenirs, dreaming of the day when she would explore the world herself. She knew that she would soon achieve her dreams. As soon as she turned 18, Sarah decided to follow those dreams. She got her parents' approval and started the journey to becoming a flight attendant. She started off as a junior member of the staff, but her talent and dedication quickly earned her promotions, and she eventually became a respected senior member at Gerald R. Ford International Airport in her hometown of Grand Rapids. Sarah loved her job. She enjoyed meeting new people and visiting new places. She was always up for a challenge and nothing fazed her, but she had no idea what was coming her way. One day while working on a flight to London, Sarah noticed a passenger seemed to be in a lot of distress. The man was sweating profusely and clutching at his chest. Sarah immediately alerted the captain and the rest of the crew. They quickly assessed the situation and realized the man was having a heart attack. Sarah went into action. She'd been trained in emergency procedures and knew she had to help the man lie down and made sure he was comfortable. She then called for the doctor on board. Luckily, there was one and he quickly came to the man's aid. Sarah stayed with the man throughout the flight, monitoring his condition and making sure he was okay. When they landed in London, she accompanied him to the hospital, making sure he received the best care possible. The incident stayed with Sarah long after the flight was over. She realized how important her job was and how much of an impact she could have on people's lives. She knew she had found her calling and she was determined to be the best flight attendant she could be. Over the years, Sarah faced many more challenges and emergencies in the air. She dealt with everything from medical emergencies to unruly passengers, but she never lost her cool, and she always put the safety and well-being of her passengers first. Sarah loved her job, traveling the world and making a difference in the lives of others. She never forgot the lessons she learned on that fateful flight to London, and she always remained grateful for the opportunity to do what she loved. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. But one day, when she got back to the airport from one of her flights, she saw something she didn't expect. There was an old man sitting in the waiting area by the terminal. He looked sad. Perhaps he'd just said goodbye to a loved one? Either way, he quickly disappeared from Sarah's mind. Sarah kept going about her busy schedule. She went on a domestic flight to Detroit, but when she got back to Grand Rapids, she saw the old man in the same spot as before. She thought it was odd since she'd been gone for hours, but he was still there. Sarah continued the week, but the rest of the airport staff had also noticed the old man. 
It seemed like he wasn't going anywhere, but the flight attendant was blissfully unaware of the dark truth. As the staff members huddled nervously together, their eyes glued to the old man, one of them finally gathered the courage to speak up. Sarah, we need answers from him. Some of us even want him taken out by security. Sarah knew that he was right, but she didn't want to resort to violence. The group had been keeping a watchful eye on the elderly man for hours, observing his every move as he sat alone in the airport lounge, his eyes fixed on the arrivals board. Despite his calm demeanor, there was something about him that made the staff members uneasy. They knew they had to confront him about his intentions before it was too late. Amidst a tense situation at the airport, Sarah found herself in a position of leadership as one of the few senior staff members present. Despite the escalating tension, she remained level-headed and knew that resorting to violence was not the right course of action. She could only think of one way to approach the situation. However, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that the elderly man causing the commotion had a very important reason for staying at the airport for so long. With a sense of responsibility and curiosity, she decided to take matters into her own hands. She approached him directly to find out what was really going on. As she walked towards her gate, she couldn't help but notice the old man sitting alone, staring blankly out the window. She hadn't noticed his somber expression until now. His face was solemn and his eyes were glistening with tears. Sarah's heart sank with concern and compassion for the old man. She walked towards him, sat down beside him, and introduced herself politely. She inquired about his well-being, noticing that something was amiss. The old man with a heavy heart looked up at her and shook his head, indicating that everything was not right. The staff waited with bated breath behind her. Sarah noticed that the airport staff seemed taken aback by the old man's emotional expression, but she could sense that he was carrying a heavy burden and in desperate need of assistance. Despite their offers of food and drink, the old man barely touched anything. When the staff suggested finding him a hotel, he declined, stating he couldn't bear to leave the airport. After three days of silence, Sarah had almost given up hope of ever finding out the reason why the old man was lingering at the airport. But on the third day, he suddenly beckoned her over. Sarah felt a mix of anxiety and curiosity as she sat down beside him, wondering what he was about to reveal. Finally, the old man broke his silence and shared a dark truth that would have a profound impact on Sarah's life. The weight of his words hung heavily in the air, leaving Sarah with more questions than answers. I've been waiting for my son, the old man said, his voice shaking. He was supposed to come home from Afghanistan yesterday. His flight was supposed to land here, but I haven't heard from him. I don't know what's happened to him. The staff rallied around the old man, scouring databases and making phone calls. They contacted the military and the embassy, trying to track down any information they could. Sarah even put out a call over the loudspeaker, asking anyone who might know the whereabouts of the old man's son to come forward. Hours passed and the old man sat there, waiting anxiously for news. Finally, as the airport was closing for the night, a man in uniform approached him. He introduced himself as a member of the military and told the old man that his son had been injured in combat but was being treated at a nearby hospital. The old man broke down in tears, overcome with relief and gratitude. The staff watched as he was led away, knowing they made a difference in his life. Fast forward a week later and Sarah made an inquiry into what had happened to the old man's son. She also learned his name, Alfred. Alfred had spent the last week next to his son in his hospital bed. Thankfully, the doctors expect his son to make a full recovery. Sarah even visited him and brought flowers. She was glad that the old man had a happy ending.